just reach out to me? How many gonna reach out tonight? How many gonna reach out tonight? How many gonna reach out tonight? Hallelujah, if you don't put nothing in, you ain't gonna get nothing out of it. Hallelujah, he's here to meet your needs tonight. All we gotta do is just reach out. Hallelujah, she, how many know his arms are not too short that he cannot say? Neither his ear or dull that he can't hear our cries tonight. So come on and put your hands together. Hallelujah. 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 Come on and shout it up.
the Lord another praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So bless me. Be back in the house of God. Amen. 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 Because the Lord is with us. Amen. We know our coming ain't in vain. We thank God. Amen. For everybody that press your way in. Amen. To the house of God on tonight. Come on, give Jesus a hand clap. <laughs> Hallelujah. We love him tonight. We love Jesus. We thank God tonight, amen, for the word of God, amen, that we received earlier, amen, but thank God, just another hour, amen, and God got another word for us on tonight, uh, however the Lord moves, it's going to be good, because God got good things in store for us, and he know what we need, thank God for that praise on tonight, it's just a pray, hallelujah, how many just love giving God praise, because he's so good, amen. God, amen, for what he's doing. We do give honor tonight for our pastor, Pastor Alice, and all that you have to do to enter this house. We do thank God for our pastor, amen. Glory to God, and we love and appreciate, amen, what God has blessed us with. Thank God for the man of God, amen. Apostle amen, on tonight, amen. Just so blessed to have him, amen, here this morning and back to tonight, amen, and just thank God for what God has done in the service today, amen, how he just blessed and encouraged and met every need in the house, amen, and amen, we're just excited, anybody excited tonight, yeah. hallelujah, hallelujah, amen, it's just a great, a great time to be saved and know the Lord because God is concerned about his people, we do thank God for all the neighbors in the house, the musicians, amen, just all the issues, Thank God for all the ministers and all the pastors, amen, that's here tonight. Thank God for Pastor, amen, for sure, amen, being here. Amen. So the chance, there are more pastors in the house, we thank God for you tonight. And all the ministers that we give all to my wife, thank God for Hallelujah, for the Holy Ghost. How many glad you saved tonight? Oh, if you ain't saved, this night can be the night. Hallelujah. Thank God. Amen. That he's still reaching out to the lost. Amen. We just thank God. We're going to amen that this time. We're going to have a welcome. Amen. Brother Chris Bikes is going to come give us a welcome. Thank God for the show, man. Thank you, man. the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. We just thank God for you. We welcome you to the Church of Dothan, and we encourage you to come expecting, right. reaching out, because God is here tonight. Mm -hmm. You know, we had a good service this morning, but I believe we're getting a double portion tonight. Right. So I encourage you to reach out, and we welcome you. Feel whatever you feel led to do, we ain't going to look at you funny. You can get up, you can shout, you can roam. We're a peculiar people, right. and I encourage you to reach out. Jesus. We're gonna have Amen now. Scripture read Amen by Sister Chelsea Banks to come on clap right. hands. She come thank God for all new people. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. The Lord. Tonight's passage of scripture will be coming from the book of Romans, chapter 5, starting at verse 17. For if by one man's offense death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one, Jesus Christ. Therefore, as by the offense of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation, even so by the righteousness of one the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound, but where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. Amen. That as sin hath reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. God, we thank you for the reading of your word. Amen. Oh, come on, I give Jesus another hand up for praise tonight. Oh, man, we thank God for seeing you, man. 
church um God brought back to my marriage a couple of years ago um one night I was getting in the bed and um he spoke to me he said pap smears mammograms biopsies x-rays he said and all diagnosis will turn at my word and he said go tell the church you know and he took me to the centurion man when he said you know I'm not worthy to come to my house but if you just speak the word only I know my servant will be healed glory to God he went and spoke the word and that man was healed in the same same hour glory to God and he went to church and I told him that night Glory to God, what God has spoke to me. We had a brother that got diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Glory to God. And ended up speaking a word over him. And he went back to the doctor. And, you know, they ran his test that his kidneys were shut down. His liver was shutting down. He had pancreatic cancer stage four. Glory to God. And he said, look, I need y'all to run this test again. They said, look, look at your paperwork. It's saying you got pancreatic cancer. But he said, look, I don't know if y'all believe in God or not. But I went to church. Glory to God. And I got prayed over. They spoke the word. And I believe I got healed. Glory to God. And they ended up running that test all over again. And it came back a misdiagnosis. I'm trying to tell you today. I feel that strong when I came in the camp. God told me to tell the church, whoever you are, it don't matter the doctor's report, it don't matter what they say. It's a female in here. I feel it down on the inside. You won't have no cervical cancer. You won't need no hysterectomy. Their report is going to change at the word. And we speak healing over your womb tonight by the power of God. And you mark it on your calendar. Somebody wound that report. That physical female part about your womb is going to turn because Jesus said so. Come on, Pastor. Amen. Take a 
away the burden of the devil. The devil came to kill, steal, and destroy. But yet and still, he came to give us life and life more abundant. Just want to encourage you tonight. That whatsoever you want, God got it. Yeah. Whatever you need, God got it. Yeah. All you got to do is ask. He said, you have not because you yeah. ask not. Yeah. I thank God tonight. Yeah. Just for being here, amen. Yeah. Give it honor to Pastor Anderson, amen. Yeah. Yeah. Continue to lead in God. That's what Jesus wants us to do, amen. Yeah. Yeah. I just come to encourage and let everybody know yeah. that we all strive. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. None of us has made it yet, but we strive yeah. to make it in, amen. Yeah. God bless you. Amen. Praise God. Thank you.
who would say, I put this mic to your mouth. You tell me what is the greatest thing God ever done to you. stuff, you're going to leave it behind. Yeah. It's such a great pleasure tonight to be here to thank the Lord for all of it. Amen. We thank God for the pastor of this church. Somebody got to dress you. Amen. Somebody got to prep you. Yes. And get you ready for coming to the Lord. Amen. And don't, and don't take nothing away from you as being a pastor. Amen. Amen. God, God just got what we call process and procedure. Mm -hmm. God got a thing we call protocol. Right. Amen. Amen. Everything has to be done decently and in order. Amen. Right. He didn't. He didn't just set up the five-fold ministry to go out and act the fool. Mm -hmm. I'm a prophet. Amen. And never prophesy. Mm -hmm. Come on. Right. Jesus. If you're a prophet, your mouth's going to come open. Amen. You ain't going to let nobody stop you. Mm -hmm. If you're an apostle, you got what God said to go and set the whole house in. Yeah, right. Come on. Okay, who is it? That's right. Amen. Amen. They like it alone. That's, right. That's his ministry. Amen. And, and the teacher works with the pastor. Amen. 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 Now y'all like that. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's, right. That's the way it works. Yeah. You don't go just take things in your own hand and do what you want to do. That's right. Right. You're going to work according to God's rules. Man. Amen. Amen. Everything got to be in order. Yeah. I thank the Lord. Mm -hmm. for, if I had a choice, if God said, I'm going to give you a choice to let you do what you want to do. Please don't let me pass the church. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for real. Amen. A lot of these folks can be something else. Amen. Amen. Oh, my Lord. Please, Lord. Well, I'll be like Jesus when he got ready to leave the earth. If it be thy will, let this come. For these folks need something else. Amen. And God, they'll make you miss a meal. Amen. Miss some sleep too. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. Pastor got it, you know, all them four o'clock in the morning calls. Amen. Weak minded folks don't try to pray for their own. God is getting ready to do some things that you don't know. All that hand, man. Pray on those folks at the show. God getting ready to cut that out. You gotta walk by your own faith. You gotta, you gotta walk by the light of your own fire. So you better build one. That's coming to time. Ain't nobody gonna be laying there. Yes, like I told you this morning, this is a is the closing of this great dispensation. And it's a word spoken. Spoken word. Amen. Come on now. Amen. Got to say something. Yes, sir. Amen. Let the redeemer of the Lord. He said, the word of faith is not deep. Yes. Come on. Yes. Come on. Amen. Word of faith. Yes. Every man sitting in this church is praying the Holy Ghost. How many got the Holy Ghost up in here? I'll tell the devil and the I got the Holy Ghost. Yeah. I ain't ashamed of it. Yeah. I kick my feet up the same time I do that. Yeah. You got the Holy Ghost, you don't back down. Right. God right. favored you mm. enough that you can claim his nature, yeah. his spirit, yeah. then you need to you need to raise your hand and say, I'm saved. I know I'm saved. Born again. Treat your brother right. Yes. Treat your children right. Yes. Treat your wife. I ain't got a wife. Yes. Treat your brother. If I had one, I should I ain't got that. Amen. Amen. If I had a wife, I would treat her right. Amen. Can't go out here and you love God and look at that suit you got fully at home. Oh. Why? God don't believe in, a, in these last days of grace. He don't. He don't care that what Solomon didn't pass. He couldn't live like Solomon. One wife, and three or four concubines. You married them all until you live with them. Amen. 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 Where else you? Uh, don't be too late for that. <laughs> you take this woman. Be your lawful wedded wife. Having the home, yeah. the love and the church. Yeah. How many of us done told the lie? Write it off and we told the lie. Mm -hmm. I had that thought, Lord, forgive me. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> I'm not with that, too. Been a whole week. Huh? Let me get off that. <laughs> Talk about the pastor. Praise the Lord. Praise he forgave us for lying to you. But don't lie no more. <laughs> I love that woman you did. And nobody else. You got the Holy Ghost. We're going to pray in a minute. But I got to say all this so you can honor this woman. All right. She ain't no baby. Amen. She's way up in age like me. Yes. But she's giving herself to the Lord. Yes. God's work. Amen. 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 There ain't nothing you got that you shouldn't give to this woman of God. Amen. 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 Right. Amen. Amen. Because everybody can stay with people. That's right. Amen. Amen. You know what God told me this evening? Pastor Anderson, I was praying. And God told me this building is not going to hold. Some left you not because they didn't love you or like you or didn't even believe in you. They just felt ready to go. But something in the brain the children had. Yeah. I'm telling you, this is what he told me today. He said, I'm going to bring back Hallelujah. all those strays oh, yeah. that walked away that were so you need to go let you they still love you. But they went away. Some went away with folks. Some went away because they was persuaded. All right. But they're out there now. 
They're ashamed to come back. My God. But God going to bring them. Because y'all may not believe. And, and I'm trying to preach. I don't care where y'all believe me about. Amen. Ain't much preaching going on in Dothan. Amen. Ain't much righteousness being lifted up in Dothan. Amen. You know why I know? Y'all get mad if you want. When the man said testify, some of y'all just that tell me something about you. Wow. Hello. That tell me something about your salvation. Mm -hmm. If you got it. Oh, yeah. mm. Listen. All of us up here, we don't love money, but we love what money does. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right. Here. That's right. I said all of us in here, we don't love it. That's right. Come on. We love but leave, we love what it does. Huh? Right. By your house, by your bread, by your bread. That's right. Mm -hmm. But if somebody came in here tonight with a yellow envelope, mm -hmm. came direct to you and said, God told me to give you ten million dollars. You ain't gonna sit on that seat. Show you know what? Show you gonna get up and come up. Yeah. <laughs> You might be crippled. Your legs, your knees, your bones might be getting you trouble, but you're going to tell them bones you got to get right. <laughs> I think that's right. Yeah. You ain't going to worry about Arthur riding. Arthur got to go. Her side has got to go. You riders got to go. You're going to praise God. And you may not be able to see it, but you know you're going to get it. Yeah. 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 It ain't impossible. If somebody asks me, I don't care if I'm in a Baptist church. Uh -huh. Tell me now. I don't care if I'm in a Methodist church or even a Catholic. If they ask me, do you have anything? Say, yes, sir. <laughs> I'm not going to let that opportunity pass me. I may not get it again. Come on now. Huh? Amen. Oh, I've been picked up, backed up, oh, and thrown out of church. Them. Because they asked me, would you like to have something to say I was a strange face in Christ? And I said, yes, I would. Walk from the back to the front, testify. But when I got to testify, I heard the pastor get him out of here. <laughs> one hit me on this hip, and this shoulder. Another one hit me on this hip, and this shoulder. Jack. He carried me to the door. In the presence of 300 people. Because of my testimony. All right. And they didn't push me out. They threw me. I'm talking about they were pumping with me. Pumping. They threw me out. Because I saw a spirit in the pulpit. I saw a gay spirit in the pulpit, and I preached. Hello, and they said, "Get him out!" Why? Because it was the truth. Mm -hmm. Two old ladies that followed Mother Church was there that day. They said, "If you threw him out because he told the truth, then we going out the house." I sit on the ground crying because they threw me out of church. Sandra, you know the girl who used to play for me? Oh, yeah. She was over there pointing her finger in one of the places. Mm. They bit it all over all. <laughs> I heard her holler at this. Now that we both sit out there in the ground laughing a while, crying a while, we stopped laughing, crying and started laughing. They threw us out of church. I said, don't worry about it. It threw me out a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Testify. If you got a chance, you may not have it. It may just be God might just want to use you then. Amen. Amen. You don't know who's sitting there with your dead self. You don't know who's sitting there that needs Words of encouragement yeah. from you yeah. because of what you're going through. Right. Huh? Amen. 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 Well, we're going to come.
on the altar and pray for we preach tonight because I feel that God and God are praying. We got a lot going on in this country. Amen. And the time's coming. This is to be prophetic or whatever you want to call it. We're not going to be free to come together like we are. That's right. So it ain't going to be COVID either. COVID shed a lot of churches down. Amen. 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 But you stay. I would say forget not to assemble yourselves together. Mm -hmm. But COVID shed a lot of churches down the road. Mm -hmm. But you're still here. Mm -hmm. and you should be grateful. Yeah. That God allowed you to get through that. Because thousands been late. Mm -hmm. Then next thing you know, there's war. We in this war, whether you like or not. We are in this war. Huh? Our allies are fighting and suffering. This one. And now other nations have got into it. Hezbollah. Other nations. Iran. They're getting in. So what are they gonna leave us? In this. That's why Russia and China was there. Yeah. But the church, if you pay attention to the word tonight, God's word is gonna lie. God's word is all you and I got. Yeah. We must stand firm on what he said. Yeah. Huh? I say we must stand firm on what God said. Yeah. Because he said the word of faith is not deep. Uh -huh. It's in your mouth. Yes. He put it in your mouth, didn't he? Yes. The word of faith is not deep. Yes. It's in your mouth and it's in your heart. Yes. It's what we speak. Yes. Huh? Yes. If we believe God mm -hmm. and have faith in God, mm -hmm. where is God? Mm -hmm. It ain't heaven. Mm -hmm. in you. It is huh? Yeah. He's in you. Christ, the Bible said, who is our faith. Yes. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Paul said, put on the whole arm of God. Yes. Praise God. That's getting the fulfillment of faith. That's why. Mm -hmm. And you may not be what you think you are. You may not be as dedicated as you think you are. The pressure rise. Come on now. Mm -hmm. when, when pressure rise, then you know where you stand. Because if you, when pressure comes, if you're fearful, mm -hmm. then that's a sign you ain't what you thought you were. Right. 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 God don't give us the spirit of fear. He don't work with fear. Right. Only thing God works with is power mm -hmm. and his word. Yeah. So if trouble comes to your household, to your children, to your family, to your church, and you get filled, afraid to go to church, afraid to shake somebody's hand, yeah. then that a sign to you. You're not where you're supposed to be. Yeah. I don't care Amen. if you go to work at your job at the hospital, yeah. God is there. Yes, and God can take care of you, yeah. even though you're working with COVID patients. Huh? Amen. God can. Yes, right. And he'll get mad at you because you don't believe he can. Yeah. He will get angry with you. Hallelujah. And not allow your prayers to be sufficiently answered yeah. because of your unbelief. Yeah. Right. Believe that? Oh, yeah. oh come on. Yes, sir. God turned the children of Israel. All he done for them. Fill up clouds. You, you, you can't even imagine. Yeah. In your Wildest imagination. Look it up at the, pay attention to me now. Look it up in the heaven and see the clouds on fire. Hallelujah. Amen. And then the daytime, see a pillar of cloud just watching over wow. you. For years. Jesus. All the whole years, they looked up and saw that. Mm. You can't even imagine. Hallelujah. You can't even 
out in your wildest imagination. Walking across a red sea, ain't talking about no river of bank. I'm talking about God said, Moses, what you got in your hand? I got a rod. He said, use it. Raise that thing. And I'll use that thing. Huh? Use it. Let's raise it up and watch what I do. Our God. When he did, it started lightning. Thunder. All at one time, it got cloudy. Praise God. If you knew anything, that was a rumbling like an earthquake. God was part in the water. Yeah. You ain't seen that. He was parting the water. Somebody, that's the old Bible story. Call it what you want. Come on now. Come on. Amen. Call it whatever you please. Yeah. Amen. But it was a reality. Yeah. Ain't no Bible stories. Yeah. Hello. Think about looking at water on both sides become a wall like this. My God, I'm, 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 I'm nosy. I would have been my God. I said, boy, get over. My God. I ain't no one. I got to look for it. Look what God is. I'd have been looking. My God. I couldn't have it. Look at what God did. And not only that, we didn't walk in no mud. We walked on the land. Can't even imagine what God did. For his people. That believe. Come on now. Walked across on dry land. And the water, you can't, you can't bank up water. God did. God showed him, said, look what I'm going to do for you. Yeah. The devil let him go what I mean, let him go. Look what I'm going to do for you. Back the waters up. Hell, we ain't got enough faith to believe nothing. We ain't got enough faith to stay in church. Hello. We ain't got enough faith to believe God for nothing. But here God, the one God, the Lord Almighty, ah. back the waters up. Yeah. Come on. Hold mm -hmm. church. Get your tambourines. Mm -hmm. Get your drums or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Let's go across this way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, try that. You know, there's water on the ground. 600,000 men. And the Bible says they didn't count the children and the wives. Huh? So 600,000 is a half of a million. So you know, tell you how many wives they had. And how many children, because we work for a lot of children. Thank you, five folks don't do nothing but have children. God them. We love to have children. Children's 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 children. Jesus. If you can have one. But if you don't, my God, God bless you. And I got a whole lot of them. Thank God for all of them. I don't even know all of them names. I'm for real. Hey, God, what's your name? Is it great that y'all be saying, I ain't shame. Get old. Get old as I am. You'll forget names. Just come here, girl. Whatever your name is. 600,000 men. And I ain't never been so serious in my whole life as I am tonight. Amen. We got some work to do. Amen. We got our work and it ain't sitting on that pew. Amen. If you don't start testifying now, Amen. Satan gonna quiet you down later. Amen. If you don't get the use to open up your mouth now and say something, Amen. he gonna shut you down in the future. Come on now. He's going to shut you down. Because yeah. if you're afraid to speak now, what you going to do when, when they start pointing guns at us? Right. Shut your mouth. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and shoot. Praise God. We ain't going to stop. Be not weary. Yeah. You know what you said? Yeah. Be not weary in what? Yeah. 
Come on. And what? Due season. We shall reap if we don't faint. In other words, if you don't back down, sanctify folk. We all done got pretty. And got adaptified. You can't. Right. You know. You ain't saved like you used to. Right. Oh, you. You don't. Right. You think about it, you done been saved forty years and you ain't no closer to God than when you first got saved. Right. Something wrong with that picture. Yeah. Something wrong. You ain't got no more to say than what you said forty years ago. Right. Talk to me. Yeah. Something wrong with that picture. Yeah. Water on both sides and walking on dry land. 600,000, maybe 2 million people. Amen. And they walked across on dry land. Hello. When they got to the other side, amen, to the other side, and look back where God had brought them from. Yes. Sing a song, How I Got Over. How I Got Over. My soul looked back and wondered how I, how I got over. Amen. Amen. Looking back and look where God has brought us from. I'm preaching now. Amen. Then the Bible said, Pharaoh, he just wouldn't stop. Because he thought if God brought them through, I can go through too. It don't work like that. <laughs> You got to have the seal of approval. Stop on you. Come on, come on. Hello. Amen. Got something to do with blood. Y'all yeah. don't hear me. Amen. It got something to cross the Red Sea. It's got something to do with blood. Huh? Yeah. Remember what he told Moses. Put blood on the dope post. Yeah. On the linen. Yeah. On each side. Yeah. And tell them to eat the lamb. Don't waste it. That's right. Praise God. If you got some over, take it to the next door. But don't lose it. Don't waste it. Why did he? And when it did, if he said you got any left over, burn it. We don't want the Egyptian to get not one bone. Oh. We don't want them to eat nothing. Either you saved, either you sanctified, born again, or you ain't nothing. They think we just said it's between these walls. But it ain't just between the walls. It's wherever we are, God is. Yes. Whether it's the hospital. Yes. Whether it's on your job. Yes. Whether it's for black folks, white folks, or whoever folk. You, you name the claim. You claim the name. Right. You don't quit. Call you for before intelligent people. I don't care how intelligent you are. You got to stand fast and stand firm in what you believe. Amen. 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 Take the folks make me sick. They get around sophisticated folks, then they want to act sophisticated. Won't tell them nothing about God. You ask me something about holding on, let the hammer down on you. Hey, I'm telling you. I'm going to say what he told me. I'm going to speak the truth in my inward part. Because God got angry. He gets angry. Why did he? He gets real angry with sanctified folk. Like he's angry with Israel right now. How you know? Because the Bible tells me so. He's angry with Israel. And he's been telling me, pray that somebody in Israel, rise up and declare that Jesus, because Paul said, my desire for Israel that she might be saved. Huh? Israel ain't saved yet, but she in war. All of Abraham's church. Did y'all read the book of Genesis, the 11th chapter, where they tried to build that tower to heaven? Huh? These them same evil folks over in the land of Shinar. These them same old folks that didn't want God. Now they Israelites. Yep. Now, come on, they worship Israel. Yeah. They worship the God of Islam. Yeah. They're not worshiping Jesus. Right. They don't believe in the Holy Ghost. They didn't believe in it when he died on Calvary. Right. 
and they still don't believe in it. But Paul said, one day God's going to read Ezekiel 40, 43, 44, 45. Read those chapters. It's going to tell you why things are going on right now. Oh, they're going to quit. They cover themselves. Praise God. He let little nations rise up against them to, to, to provoke them, to let them know my word don't lie. I'm going to beat you till you turn your face to me. Come on, somebody. I'm going to beat you down till you learn to say yes to God. You got Israelites, you got Jews right now over there in Israel. Don't even believe in Jesus. Don't even know him. And you got church folk sitting right here. We're supposed to be Christians. Sitting right here trying to look cute. And don't know Jesus. Because if you know him, you're going to speak about him. If you know him, you ain't going to be ashamed of him. If he says you're ashamed of me and my word, when you stand before my father, I'm going to be ashamed of you. Anybody got to call you up? One man come to the church and he, enjoy, he said he enjoyed my message. But he said, uh, the brother said, we, we want you to come back. He said, if you invite me. I said, anybody got to invite you to church? <laughs> so the brother, don't be, don't be, don't be boosting that man up. If he don't want to come, you heard me. <laughs> he heard what I said. If you want to come back, the whole, his husband would make you come back. That's right. We'll invite you. You haven't been here one time. <laughs> ah, that's it. You ain't no stranger no more. <laughs> Amen. We need all that clout. We need somebody to give us clout. We need to give us a little praise and I'll come back. Ain't nobody going to praise you. Amen. Church is where you're supposed to be. Amen. Church is praise God where you get saved at. Amen. Amen. They get praises. Amen. Hello. Amen. God got angry, brother. You have done all of that. Amen. We said we believe God. But when action comes, I'm going to read the book of Acts. What does it say? The Acts of the Apostles. Is that right? Yes. But really talking about the Acts of the Holy Ghost. Yes. The Acts and the power of it, what it does, what it did. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Come on now. Yes. Acts of the Holy Ghost. Acts of the Spirit. Yes. So, so if, if action don't follow us, if action don't intercede us, and precede us. Something wrong. Right. Amen. Amen. The Holy Ghost manifests action. The power of God manifests action, not just talk. But your word produce action. Hallelujah. And the spirit in that word. What do you say? My, the spirit and the word agree. You can't have the spirit and don't study the Bible. Come on. If you got the spirit, you hunger for the word. If you got the spirit and ain't hunger for the word, then you still a baby. Come on, Come on somebody. Yeah. You ain't growing up yet. Yeah. Hallelujah to his name. Y'all quiet here. If you don't read your Bible every single day of your life, you are nothing but a little child still in the arms of Jesus. Depending on that mother. To take care of them. Those children don't know what she all of yours. They don't know what you know, but they depend on you. Feed them, clothe them. Amen. 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 So when they sick, to help them. Is that right? They depend on you to nurse them. But Paul said, when I was a child, I spake like a child, act like a child. I done childish things, had childish ways. But when I became a man, I put away them childish ways. Men acting like wimps. Crying all the time. Whining all the time about stuff that don't even matter. If you stand up and be a man, God will show you. Praise God, no way out of your situation. Come on now. This. You got to eat it every day. Just like you sit down, amen. What y'all ate? How you doing? Yo, man, good to see you. Amen. That boy told me last time, he said, I'm going to be sitting on the front row ready for the word. Come on. He, he told me when I got out of the car, he said, I'm waiting on you. 
That right there, he said, I'm waiting on you. I'm gonna be on the front row, I'm ready for it. And I'm telling you what that boy gonna be when he gets there. <laughs> he gonna be saying some things y'all would He listened. When I was a child, I spake like a child, act like a child. But when you become a man, you quit carrying on a whole lot of foolishness. Choking and jesting all the time. Gotta be serious somewhere, sometime or another. Why well, didn't hear no one? So it is when we start growing up in God spiritually, you start acting like a man of God. Not just a child of God. Yeah. I ain't no child of God. Hello. I ain't no child of God. I left that stage many years ago. I'm a man of God. I'm a son. Come on somebody. That's how I want to be addressed as a son of God. God don't call me as a, as a child. He called me as a man. Because that's what he made me to be. A man for such an hour as this. So what's going to carry me and what's going to carry you is the word. You can't go to the devil and talk about your intelligence. You can't cast the devil out talk about how, how smart you are. You got to put this word on that devil. Come out of here in the name of Jesus Christ. Say you don't honor nothing but this word. Oh, they say the Catholic folks wrote it. I don't care who wrote it. Tell you what God said. I said, the Catholic folk wrote it. They knew something. At that time, even though they don't know do the squat now, but they knew they, they wrote this. It was on time. Because everything this book says is on time. Come on. Where are we standing with God? Where are you standing spiritually? If death face you tonight, until you ain't going back before God until I take you with me. Are you ready? Come on. How much words you got in you? How much foolishness you got in you? How much have you eaten this word? Come on, somebody. You can look at some of y'all and tell you ain't been missing no meals. You been eating dinner, supper, breakfast, and between breakfast and between them. Hello. All of them. They say when John Wayne died, he had 35 years of steak in his guts. In the crevice of his intestine. You know where the intestines are all them turning? And then they said the curves were locked in was old fashioned, old steak that was still there. 35 years. That he had eaten, and that's what killed him. Mm. Old waste food. Yep. And praise God, wasn't clean out. Mm -hmm. Talking about folks that need to pray now. I'm talking about sanctified folks. Mm -hmm. What is God plan to do to us? Yeah. What is God's purpose for you yeah. as a man of God, as a woman of God? How much Bible you believe in? Oh, Amen. Yeah. 400 years. Y'all said he need to go home. I'm going. 430 years, God told Abraham, I'm going to send them down to Egypt, and they'll be there for 430 years. Yeah. 430 years. Then they begin to cry to God. They was ready to be moved. They was ready for some action because their prayers touched God. Your prayer got to reach the throne. Yeah. I'm not talking about just praying in this house. I'm talking about no prayer got to touch the throne. No prayer got to touch the heart of God. No prayer got to touch the very mind of God. For Jesus Christ to stand up, amen, on the right hand of the Father and make intercession for you. Your prayers is the one that calls him to stand up. Come on. I said, well, the priest would go in before uh, the high priest would go in once a year. Yes, that's true. The high priest would go in before uh, the priest every day. The, one, the priest would go in every day and pray for their sins and the sins of the children of God. And amen. And once a year, the high priest would go behind the veil, right? Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and the, the Bible said he had veils around the talus of his garment. 
And while the bells was ringing, that was a sign he was still alive because they was walking back and forth, talking to God, waiting on the Spirit to come, praise God, to, to accept the sacrifice that was given. But it was all by blood. Come on, somebody. Everything moved the blood, what moved God. Amen. Without the shedding of the blood, there ain't no remission. So if God doesn't save you by his blood, why can't you say something? Come on, somebody. If he doesn't save you by the blood, we sit there trying to look cute. Praise God. That ain't going to work. Praise God. You got to rise up. All by the blood. Amen. So the priest would offer up sacrifice. And he would splash that blood over the mercy seat where God come down to meet them. And if his spirit wasn't right, the bell stopped ringing. When the bell stopped ringing, priests are going to die right here. Come on, somebody. Because they weren't delivering the truth from God. Because they weren't covered in the blood of Jesus. How can I tell you about the blood that I ain't covered? I gotta be covered. To cover you. Amen. But be very careful. Why you testify? Amen. Praise God that your testimony is a part of your everyday life. Amen. Your testimony is a part of you. Yeah. It is you. Yeah. Praise God. Because when Israel suffered for 400 years, God led them across the Red Sea. They won't come across, and Israel watched them. Amen. Amen. Watch them drown in that water. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to talk to y'all about tonight. Mm -hmm. Look like Lord ain't going to get cut off today. <laughs> they drowned it right before the eyes of the children of God. Mm -hmm. And then God started leading them. Read Deuteronomy 8. He said, I led you through the wilderness for a reason. Mm -hmm. I checked you out to know what was in your heart. Mm -hmm. I wanted to know whether you was real or not. Wow. I wanted to know how much you was really wanting to be delivered. I wanted to know from your heart where your faith was standing. Come on. I want to know where your faith standing now. Not in this church, in this building. This building don't crumble. But your faith should never crumble. We shall reap if we don't quit. God, the Bible said, as they start walking from the Red Sea, Look at this. Nobody got sick. There was not one solitary person sick among those Israelites. Not one. Not one headache. No high blood pressure. No low blood pressure. Their shoes they wore for 40 years. Their feet didn't trail in their shoes for 40 years. Come on somebody. Their clothes didn't wax old for 40 years. Y'all don't hear me? God did that. God showed us what he can do. And these folks didn't have no Holy Ghost. They didn't testify that they had Christ living in them. God walked with them and he watched over them by a pillar of cloud and a pillar of fire by night but he wasn't in them. He walked with them. In the valley of the shadow of death. Right. But we say he's in us. Walking inside of me. Living inside of me. Speaking inside of me. Where's your God? He lives. He lives. He lives in me. The Bible says, Great is he that's inside of you. That he that's in the world. Who is that he he talks about? Talk about two different he's then. Did he? He said, great is he that's in you yeah. than he that's in the world. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. So he that's in the world is Satan. Yeah. That's right. So if he's the greater one, then why can't we say something? Yeah. Talk to me somebody. Where is your testimony? Where is, where is God no word to speak? Where is the oracle of God? He said in the last day, now I I'm going about Matthew 24, Luke 21, Mark 13. I'm going about those scriptures. 
That's what I'm, I'm basing on. Praise God, because that's it. At this time, we should be strong. Come on. At this time, praise God, according, like some preachers told me, said, well, we're going to be caught away uh, just before that happened. I said, well, Matthew really spoke, Mark spoke, and Luke spoke. But you speak it now, but you lie. Because if we was going to leave here before tribulation, we should have been gone before that war came. All right now. Come on now. You're talking. We should have been gone before the war in uh, Ukraine. Why didn't you? We should have been gone. According to Daniel, the, uh, according to the prophet Daniel, we should be out of here before that LGBTQ rose up. We ain't gone. Yeah. Persecution go around. Read, read Isaiah 60. And what? I'm quiet. Get old, can't flip your page. Isaiah. My God, it takes y'all a long time to get about it. <laughs> Isaiah 60 and 1. What did he say? Tell him. Arise and shine. Now this is prophecy, children. This is the word of God. Arise. He didn't say sit and get comfortable. He said it's time to rise up. What is God going to do greater than that Red Sea incident? What is it that we can expect God to do that he greater than what he did at the Red Sea? There's something got to happen that the Red Sea was just a jump in the bucket. Praise God. You said, I don't, believe. I don't care what you believe. It don't matter. Read. Hold that ship. First Corinthians. Come on. Two. Y'all don't believe that. Don't believe five words. I had some cows that believe in hot stick. But I stuck it to them. I said, move. Why won't you to move? Talk to the meanest bulls in the world. Praise God when they tell you, they'll look at you like you can't move me. A little bit of hot stick will. I put that in your butt, you're going to jump. Amen. You're going to get on up in that pen too. Praise God. So that hot stick hit them and they jump. Listen here. Amen. What is about to happen in this nation and the world? What is about to take place according to the Bible? Second Corinthians. Hold that scripture. And brethren, I came when I came unto you, came not with enticing words and excellency of speech or of wisdom, declared unto you the testimony of God. The testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in, in fear and in much trembling. And not my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom. You can't get this in seminary. You can't go to seminary and get the anointing of God. You can't go to seminary and get the revelation of Jesus Christ. You can't go to seminary. I know you're an eloquent speaker, but that ain't going to back down the devil. Praise God. You can't go to seminary and come out with the power of God. He said, you want the power? He said, go to Jerusalem and get on your knees and stay there until you be endured with power from on high. And I'll give you power to tread upon serpent. Ain't that wrong with going to seminary? Yes, it is. Head it 
down the wrong path. Nobody want to know no doctor degree. Doctor this, doctor that. You go doctor yourself up and get you the Holy Ghost. Get you some spirit in you. I'm a doctor this and these crazy crack brained folks. Y'all ain't got sense enough to follow that foolishness. Praise God, man. I've been to seminary. That ain't gonna work. That's what Paul just said. I didn't come to you with enticing words of man's wisdom. Amen. I come to you demonstrate what? The power of God. I come demonstrating you the testimony of God. I come manifesting you the power of God. I think and what through anybody. Think and what through that child. That the child here to the power and a white through them. And Jesus said, you go to Jerusalem and get on your knees. You have to go that some. Paul left the mail seminary. Praise God. He was a seminary believer. He, he was well versed. That's when Jesus called Paul and, and spoke to him from the clouds. He knew what the Lord was speaking. When he fell, Paul said, Who art thou, Lord? Y'all remember that? Here, yeah, praise God, this man fell to his knees. And the Bible said, He said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, He replied back, said, I'm Jesus. He didn't say I'm no seminary uh, professor. Uh, are you listening to me? He didn't say with all that. He said, I'm Jesus, whom you persecute. Look how he identified himself with the believer. Look how he identified himself with the saints. Yeah. I'm Jesus. Yeah. Paul said, right then, mm -hmm. I left the seminary. Mm -hmm. You go back. Praise God. Blind him. Come on. He blind him. He faithful boy. He couldn't see nothing. That's right. Come on, somebody. Amen. That's what he's gonna do with all these sinning there preachers. Man, we finna have a showdown. Yeah. Come on, somebody. We finna have a showdown. You say God's with you. Let's try him out. Let's try him out. The God that answers by fire. And the other God, let him kill you behind. Let's let's put God to the test. And the God that answers by fire. Over. 
Huh? You're going to put it over. And you're going to put it over quickly. And you ain't going to think nothing else. Because the law said, put over. And you get out. He said, what did you stop me for? Why are you so fearful? You ain't fearful of that gun, because I got a gun. You got a gun, a preacher? Yeah. Are we crazy fools out here? Okay. Yeah, I got a gun. Somebody said, will you shoot? What am I going to do with it? <laughs> I ain't crazy, but I got this thing. I got a gun. They can come up in here and shoot if they want it. <laughs> Hello. I ain't crazy. He told us then don't kill on two coats. But now he didn't tell us that. Amen. Somebody said, I ain't got no weapon. My weapon is the Holy Ghost. Well, that's your business. <laughs> you and I deal with same different kind of folks. Yes, huh? That's right. You deal with trained demons in the house. I deal with demons out there in train. <laughs> Hello. I deal with demons out there in the streets. They ain't trained. Praise God. They come out there with guns and they turn them sideways. And they will shoot you. They better help me get to if I can find me a hiding place. I'm going to shoot too. You help me. I'm going to protect me. I know I'm talking to real. Some of y'all just talking all that food. Somebody go to shoot. You gonna find a dough somewhere. Amen. Uh -huh, you gonna try to find, and you gonna walk all over your children. <laughs> I, I asked Pastor Anderson to take this. All her little grandchildren come for. They're some beautiful girls. Amen. All of them beautiful. Amen. Gorgeous. Amen. Amen. Brother Anderson and Sister Anderson, I see y'all ought to be proud of me. Some of the beautiful young girls you ever stepped in the shoe leather. Right. But when them girls were young, those were terrible little children. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about the good God! Special hate and high. My God, I just messed around one day and mistake and took them out to dinner by myself. <laughs> That's what I said. No. <laughs> them girls talked from the time I pulled off the driveway at the church. Then we got over like a desk was sitting in the front. And they just on the back seat. Yeah, we got there. <laughs> My God, I just got out of church. Got I was wanting to wind down, but I, didn't, I couldn't wind down. Couldn't wind up either. <laughs> I thought them two girls was talking so much. All of a sudden, Jessica, y'all shut up. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Somebody was going to shut up. <laughs> they some beautiful girls. Gorgeous. Amen. But they were terrible. Them girls, we used to, on church work now, we we uh we had to go into a building that had back doors. We don't see anything like that. Amen. Trees out there. In the woods. <laughs> go to the woods. <laughs> hey man, y'all know what to do. <laughs> You know you gotta go, you gotta go. Yeah. Why they get you some leaves? <laughs> y'all look at me like I'm Thomas Greek. <laughs> y'all know y'all been there and done that. <laughs> but we 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 had we got out of the house and the you know, polar guards come in. Yeah. And hey did how did and uh, another girl she friend girl, I forget her name, but them girls from church. The engine went out there in the bathroom, and they locked in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they locked in there and ran in church to sit down like they had done it. They went out there in the ways how hard. Hey, somebody let me out. I said, I thank God you didn't start moving and it turned over. <laughs> you wouldn't have come to this house. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, God. But they have come to be beautiful, gorgeous creatures. Yes. Are you listening? Yes. What God's doing, 
children gonna get it. Because the old folks has bypassed. Y'all follow me? We better be careful that we don't miss it. All that God does. We're gonna read you these scriptures. And I'm gonna tell you what God said. My speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom. Is that what he said? Yes. Praise God, of man's wisdom. But in demonstration of the spirit and the power that your what? Faith. Your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Your faith got to stand in God's power. Yes. Counselor can't stand before. I'm not talking about her or me. I'm talking about you. All right. You shouldn't fear laying your hand on somebody with counsel. Because right. your faith ain't standing in the wisdom of man, yeah. but in the power of God. Yeah. You said, I ain't never prayed for nobody with counsel. Didn't start somewhere. Yeah. You'll never know a car move until you put it in drive. You'll never know what God can do until you trust it to find out. The devil throw things in your mind. I ain't got what I need. Who got what they need? Nobody sitting here got everything they need. But we need everything we got to fight Satan with. I didn't come to you with enticing words of man's wisdom, but I came demonstrating what God said. Come on, somebody. Isaiah 60. And one, watch this. Uh -huh. Isaiah 60. And one, look what he said. Arise and shine, for thy light is come. Talking about Jesus, the first coming. Yeah. And the glory of God is arisen upon thee. Yeah. What is that to me, folks? Call out to me. The power of God. Yeah. The Spirit of God. Yeah. When the police stop you, Amen. you're not ready that bad. I mean that gun. But it's that bad that gives him the power to tell you to put your hand behind your back. Is that right? Praise God. That bad tell you, get out of the car. That authority. You got it. You got it. You got it. We all got it. It's got to come out of your mouth. If it don't come out of your mouth, you'll be miserable the rest of your day. You'll come in the church miserable. You'll leave miserable. You'll leave the church unhappy. Why? Because you don't recognize the power that God put in the word for you. Right. Something for the break, church saints of God. Yeah. You don't believe what God said. We go from day to day, but we don't believe that we are already in the kingdom. Jesus. The kingdom of God is already in us. Yeah. Isaiah don't tell you about it. Look at here. Hallelujah. He said, rise and shine when your light has come and the glory of God is risen upon you. And behold, the darkness shall cover the what? Earth. Is that happening? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. Come on, the darkness has covered the whole earth. Not just America. That's right. Darkness has covered the whole earth. You think this gay spirit ain't reached around the world? Mm -hmm. Africa was the one nation that defied it. Now they gravitated to it. Yeah. Brother, when this spirit, I'm going to tell y'all now, when this spirit reached the whole earth, Isaiah saw it, Paul saw it. He said, if God don't shorten our days, every one of us going to be gay. I'm going to be gay. Because that ain't uh, and I know women. <laughs> Ain't nothing funny about me but my money don't really say. Really <laughs> God has gone and killed me. Let me turn over in my grave because I ain't going to be gay. Some of y'all didn't say that. Amen. <laughs> I said, I ain't going to be gay. <laughs> I would kill a rock and put a brick in the hospital to keep from being gay. Man, ain't nothing funny about me. You can, yeah. You got a 
know why? You know a way to go. All right. <laughs> Man, the Lord went. They said Trump was the Antichrist. He was the man who said, I said, no, Trump ain't smart enough. One of the dumbest men ever stepped in the White House. Trump ain't smart enough to be the man of sin. The Bible said the man of sin gonna come from over there where they rising all these wars now. Over there in that Asia country. Over there, that's where he's coming from. But he ain't gonna love women. Praise God, he's gonna have no love for women. He's gonna have love for a man. Why? Because this is his trump card. This gay thing, y'all ain't paying a bit of attention. Praise God, because it's here. You're working right beside. They give you your paycheck. They, they serve you dinner at your restaurant, and you still don't see nothing. Praise God, you come to the house of God, and somebody tell you about the power that you gotta operate in. You back up from it during the moonwalk. Gonna pay attention to what God said. What is God about to do in this world? What he can do? He said, "Here the whole world is in darkness." And he said, "Not only the world, but he said, cross darkness is over every head." Look what he said. Huh? To darkness. To lift up your eyes around about thee, and all they gather themselves together. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Praise God. Well, let me go back to the second verse. Behold, the darkness covered the earth. It's all over the earth, saints of God. Yes, it is. It's all over the earth. Amen. It's everywhere. Women don't care nothing about themselves. Now, you pull up YouTube, all you see is naked black women. Ain't no shame nowhere no more. Used to be a time women were shamed to put on their clothes. Now they sit there over, over YouTube and the long line open up there showing their fantasies and darkness has crept over the whole earth and they come to church, amen they got mad at Brother Terrell because he preached on the dress code and now he ain't down, he ain't, he ain't with us right now and so ain't much dress code preach but I believe what he preached I believe the same gospel you come in, you close yourself you hide your body, hey come on somebody you got men in this house that don't need to be see your neck Big leg, mama. <laughs> Gotta be shame where you say. Oh, big leg, mama. <laughs> Gotta be shame where you say. Are oh, you sure your big leg? <laughs> Are you going to hell? <laughs> big leg, mama. <laughs> Show the big leg. I got, a lady, I got a lady who used to be in my church. She had big hips. And she didn't get no butt tucks either. She got to get a butt tucks now. They take the fat from the gut and put it in the butt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It takes me, I laugh, how foolish can you get? Yeah. You ain't nothing but a stone star naked fool. And it costs four thousand dollars to take fat from your gut. Mm -hmm. All you gotta do is quit eating. They got to do that, and they got blood exercise. Mm -hmm. You want a big butt test, take some blood exercise. <laughs> Is it true? Come y'all with my own All right, God, man, if the woman ain't got nothing, you don't matter because she got a big old butt. That's right. Amen. Huh? That won't move you. What you gonna do when that butt start getting bigger? <laughs> That nigga ain't gonna turn to a nigga old. <laughs> All your vision gonna go away. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. Gotta hit the heart. Yeah. Yeah. You don't care where she pulls the raise heart. That's right. Fat as a pig. That's right. If you love her. That's right. Amen. Amen. If you love her. That's right. This lady. She used to jump up every time she, she was dressed. Oh, she was a top-notch dresser. Mm. And she made me sick. 
every time I get to preaching, she wanted to show her old big old fanny. She had a little bit. And she just wanted to show how fine she was. Pressed to the bathroom, just going everywhere, where everybody could see her. I know she was getting up. She caught me right that time. I called by that. This is so and so. Shake your big old behind. <laughs> she just sit right where she was. <laughs> She didn't, she didn't go back to her seat. She just dropped right where she was. Set her behind down in here. This ain't no whole house. This ain't no place for you to advertise your behind. This is the house of God. And you have some respect. Talk to me, somebody. Amen. Woo! Amen. I don't like you. I don't care. <laughs> the world's getting darker. It's getting dark. Every time you walk out that door, the world is facing you. But this is this is a promise, Pastor. Has. God told me to see about you, this church, this building will be big enough. What I saw this afternoon, this building ain't big enough. They were sitting in the aisle. Come on, come on. Some gonna die with me. You follow me? Especially black folk. Cause we feel. <laughs> We've been like that all our lives. Right. And mama said, when the Lord talking, you shut up. That's right. When you get right. the thunder and lightning, my God is lightning. Get the thunder and get the shake out of the right. right. Fall behind a wall somewhere. Y'all know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. right. Black folk were scared. Mm. And we still scared. Right. You don't see us going up there in the Sputnik and all that stuff. Talking about going up there to the moon? <laughs> no, we, 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 don't, we don't go over there. <laughs> Get up there on that moon and y'all leave us up there. Uh -uh. <laughs> we don't go over there. Uh -uh, y'all want to go on that moon? Go on up there by yourself. I wasn't called for that. I mean, new brother, Joel F. Hayes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One of the most powerful yes, preachers. Yes, Soul saver. Yes, sir. Joel Page is vinyl. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm going to push the man, praise God, to the day she died. Yes, sir. And he'll be right there trying to fast three days. Like a star. The baby on 40 days and nights, not drinking nothing but water. That's right. She kept that ministry rolling. Yes, sir. All they got, I saw some miracles, Pastor Anderson, under his thing. I didn't see other brother children. Mm -hmm. I saw some things that Joel yes, Page does. Yes, yes. He, he the one that built my faith. Yes. Working with him. Amen. When I started with him, Joel, we became like this. Praise God, we was bosom buddies, yes. friends to his death. Yes. Yes. Amen. He taught me what real faith, how it works. I preached faith, but I didn't have it like he had it. And I went to one of his churches in Davisburg. This lady had a milk leg. Praise God. One, You know what a milk leg is. That's what God's going to do, brother, to you and your wife. I was getting ready. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing going to happen. No good on this earth. We got to accept the bad. The bad is out there. And we got to say, God, I'm the man you call. So what is it you want me to do? What you want me to do? And when God tells you, okay, woman, let's get busy here. Is that right? God ain't called us to show be show boss. He called us for labor. What? Why this day? Night's coming. He meant what he said. Not night's here. Doctors done hit the whole earth. Hallelujah. Praying for a husband. Don't ask for any man. Ask God to give you a saved, sanctified. That's right. Praying for a wife. Don't ask me to put it just a pretty woman. Tell God to give you somebody going to work with you. Right. Quiet in here, Lord. Amen. I was preaching to this lady. I had this old milk leg. Her leg was so big it come down over a shoe. When she put her shoe on, her, her, her leg had, when a shoe fit, it fits up in the skin of her leg. And I got out on my knees. And I prayed for this woman. I said, go on and God's going to hear you. He said, no, 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 preacher. Get back down there. Get back down there. And he said, let's see what God told you. 
I got on my knees. God's my witness. That was the first time I saw a miracle. I saw God. Praise God. Demonstrate the power right before my eyes. And I was on my knees. Joel Page was standing behind me with his shoulder, with his hands on his shoulder. He said, I pray again and ask God to move this sweating in this woman's leg. And as I moved, ask God, I felt her leg just swinging right in my head. I felt it. I felt it shrinking right in my hand. And my God, I like to lose my mind.
shall be seen upon thee. Is that what he said? Yes. Mm -hmm. Demonstrating the power of God. And his glory shall arise upon thee. He, Isaiah talking about then something happening way down the line. Yes. Even after the coming of the Lord. He talking about right now. Yes. Come on. And the Gentiles shall come to the light and the kings to the brightness of thy rising. God told me to tell them tonight I'm going to bless the saints of God. I'm going to get them out of debt. Thank you, I'm going to bless their going in yes. and they're coming out. Yes. I'm going to give them fun, but he ain't going to give you money that's going out here. All right. All right. All right. It's going to be for kingdom. Right. When Israel come out of, out of Egypt, yeah, they, they had silver and gold. Yeah. Silver and gold. They borrowed from the Egypt right. and they weren't broke. Right. Is that right? Amen. When the plague start falling, when the wrath of God started falling, the children of God was not hurt or harmed. They was in the land of Goshen where God provided for them. God said, tell them, I'm going to provide for them. But they got to believe what I said. My God, what can God do that he ain't always done? He can do a whole lot. Eyes ain't seen. Yes, sir. Second Corinthians, first Corinthians. Listen, you say, where you go, church? Thank you, Lord. God bless you. The Holy Ghost is in you. The Spirit of God is going to charge you to deliver that Holy Ghost. And you're going to be crazy in this. Amen. I'm picking up the Spirit about you. Amen. You didn't pray. You didn't carry on. You were very serious, mighty man. Now God said to turn that around. But you're going to let the devil know that I'm a serious minded man. Satan ain't going to honor your looks. He's going to honor what comes out of your mouth. God telling me to tell you, man. God stand up for what you know is right and don't back down. You may not have all you got, but you got what you got. Don't back down. When somebody stand against what you believe, stand up for Christ. Praise him. First Corinthians, second chapter, first verse. And, and I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech Keep or on. of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. Yes. You know what we're doing? That's right. God talking about who listens. Amen. God talking about who listens. I ain't worried about getting no tent. I ain't got the money to get it. So I get on the street if I have it. There you go. Right. I get to stand at Walmart and tell them about yes. yes. Praise God. I ride by folks that ain't sitting begging for money. I give them some money. But I ask them, do you know Jesus? Do you know Jesus? Huh? I met an angel twice. Give him the money. Amen. At Regan's Bank. Every weekend I see this old man walking with a cane. Strange feeling comes over me when I saw him. All the time he was right at Regan's. And he said, I said, hey, mister. I want to help you. I gave him a hundred the first time. Next time I gave him two. The third time I saw him, he said, don't give me no money. Did God tell you to do that? I said, yeah, if God did that, I sure would be giving you. We don't give him money. I said, yes, sir, God told me. He said, well, God bless you. And may the glory of God exalt you. Yeah. That's it, right there. Ain't seen no more. Just disappeared. What going to happen, brother? When you go to bed at night, you better start looking. Yes, sir. You better start expecting God to come visit you. Because this, what he's going to read right now, is what God told me this afternoon. For I determined not to know anything among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power. 
that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Hey, you gotta stand. I preached at your church about seven years ago. Where your faith? Come on. How be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to know. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom, which God ordained before the world unto our glory. Uh-huh. The our glory. Uh -huh. Come on down. Which none of the princes of this world knew. For had they known it, they would have not crucified the Lord. Talk about Lord. all these mega preachers. Yeah. Yeah. All these televised preachers. Yeah. They don't know it. They don't talk about the Holy Ghost. They don't talk about Jesus. You know they don't. Jake's as smart as he is. You don't hear him talking about Jesus. But people sit there and listen to him. He ain't from God. Y'all can hear me if you want to. He ain't from God. He ain't one of them. Read. But as it is written, I have not seen. As it is written, I ain't seen. Nor ear heard. Nor ear heard. Neither have entered into the heart of man. God said it ain't been in the man's heart and told nobody what God's going to do for you. Come on. What did he say? God has prepared something that the devil can't stop it. For the saints of God. Ain't no way you can twist that around. And make something else out. It's what God's about to do. God had two men in the Old Testament. Oh, he had many men that preached the word yeah. on the law. Mm -hmm. But he had two men major to show his power to yeah. the yeah. Moses was the first man. Right. Moses went to the mountain yeah. watching over Jethro's sheep. Yeah. And Moses saw an incident. He saw the power of God. Yeah. He had a stick in his hand. Yeah. Yeah. Now listen to me. Yeah. He had a stick in his hand. And God, he looked and saw that fire burning. God said, I'm getting ready to do something your eyes ain't never seen. Yeah. Who this was? A murderer. Yeah. Come on. A runaway murderer. Yeah. God said, Moses, he looked up and saw that bush burning. And he went to war. Look what fixed to happen. Look what God was getting ready to do. Yeah. Down in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Through the burning flame. God, he went and saw the bush was not burning, and he, as he got closer, he heard a voice. Yeah. What you gonna do when you start hearing them voices? Hallelujah. A man just killed yes. a bunch of folk because he started hearing the voice. Yes. And then turn around and kill his own self. Yeah. Well, today, somebody else got killed. Mm. Many serial killers. What's happening in this country? All these serial killers rising up here. Y'all don't hear me? People still going to football games and clubs and stuff. Y'all don't hear me? Amen. They just got today, today, right here in this country, over 18 to 20 people got killed. What we gonna do when they come to the house of God? God's gonna protect us. He's gonna show us he's God. God got to be miracle working in our presence yes, somewhere. I'm not talking about two songs in a testimony. I'm talking about things that we ain't seen yet. Yeah. Some of you probably don't never see because your heart ain't right to believe it. Yeah. You don't believe nothing, no way. Come on. Come on, somebody. You want somebody to come in and say, I don't want no quick fix. You want somebody to come in and give you a quick fix. That ain't going to work. You want to hear what God, you may be at church an hour or two. Maybe longer. What you got in your hand, Moses? He said, I got a rock. Mm -hmm. Drop it. When he dropped it, he turned to himself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God was giving him his tools. He yeah. yeah. worked it. Picked it up. The rod in his hand. Yeah. We don't use this stick. I love it. I live with it. I sleep with it beside me. Hey, Amen. I raise it when the storm comes. I raise it when trouble hits. Praise God and you listen. Yeah. This is the rod of God. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. This is the rod of God. Yeah. This is what you raise against evil. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. We, not, yeah. we, don't, we, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Yeah. We wrestle against power yeah. and spiritual yeah. witness and how, yeah. how do we fight it? To death. Yeah. 
I don't know whether it's going to be Biden. I don't believe it's going to be him. I believe it's going to be some gay man that's going to take up these books. Yeah. I told you to keep your eye on the Pope. He passed the laws right now. Yeah. Take this up. Yes, he did. President, the, the Pope, they write new Bibles. Mm -hmm. Latrell told us 30 years ago. Amen. Hide your Bible. Amen. Because he saw it. they were going to take them up. Yeah. With that now, but they didn't take mine. Because it's all in my heart. Amen. It's all in my heart. I got to live, you got to live. It's that cause of effect. I got to live, you got to live. We're going to bring it all down the middle. Amen. You give a little bit, precept and an example, precept here, precept there, a little here, a little there, and because all of us will come together. Right. What do you say? But God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searches all things, oh. yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man, except the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man, but the spirit of God. Mm -hmm. That we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. I was praying the other day on the hill. And I was miserable. And I was talking to God about my misery. Mm -hmm. You know what God said to me? Quit talking to me like a man. Talk and think like God. Thank you. Think like God. Mm -hmm. And I spoke to him the other day and somebody shook their head and said, You can't think like God. Yeah. Paul said, Let this mind yeah. be in you. Yeah. Yeah. Because he said, We have the mind of Christ. Yeah. Isn't that what he said? Yes, sir. Because great is he that's in you, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You got to think like God. And they say think like they know. You gotta think like God. Let this mind be in you in Christ Jesus. People won't tag around your neck 20 years ago, what would Jesus do? I remember that. Amen. That was a fact. Now, they don't even wear them tags no more. They don't care what he do. But he he's operating through a power that eyes it. Well, go back and ask Moses. When he went down to Egypt, he took that stick. And that stick, Aaron prophesied, they brought the children out. Because God showed all kinds of signs, brought all kinds of wonders because of his word. Yes. Amen. Moses said, I'm going down here now, God. I can't go alone. If they ask me, which they go ask me, who shall I who sent you here? To tell them I am yes. sent you. That's all. Just tell them I am. Lord have mercy. When I read Isaiah 42, Isaiah 43, and Isaiah 44, well, Isaiah 41 to the 44. Amen. Isaiah saw Jesus come and they said, He said, I am He. Jesus come and said, If you don't believe that I am He, I'll let you die in your sin. I'm the one that was at the bush and told Moses, tell him I am has yes. sent you. I'm the one that sent you down. He said, I came through for the two generations, manifesting myself. Now he's here in the church of those letting them manifest itself for all people. But who going to let them do it? As he said, the year, your king, Lord, as I died, I saw the Lord. Train lifted up. You got to see it. The Bible said the apostles worked with Jesus for three and a half years. Then when he died, they were standing at the sepulchre and didn't believe nothing. Amen. Amen. He told them they're going to rise and they didn't believe. And the women went to the sepulchre away. It was laid. Amen. Y'all listen? And they went we don't be careful these women go and sell us, brothers. Not me. We're going to buy it in what I call to be buying. Right, right. Amen. You don't be careful your wife going to see things you're supposed to be seeing. Tell you what you're supposed to be telling her. Come on, somebody. Y'all don't hear me? 
Samson wife did, the mama did. She saw the angel and went and told her husband, Noah, Noah said, uh, the angel said, I'm going to have a child. Where that man at? You the angel, you the man that told my wife she's going to get pregnant? Yes, I did. Any man want to know you talking to my wife about pregnant. That's sex. Huh? Don't be talking to my wife about no sex. Y'all be quiet and hear that. I know why you're quiet, but you don't talk to her about it. Oh, no. <laughs> you got a lie, you gonna talk trash. <laughs> all that sacrifice, you ain't all that. Oh, <laughs> all them children, man, man, you ain't going to be here. How you sacrifice all that? Children care to the soul. You ain't done something. You ain't talking to somebody about it. Trash. I know you. I know you're talking about it. You've been trash talking for me by saying. Y'all know what I really said. He talks some trash. Oh, he says, uh-huh. He wasn't talking about it. He said, I told you. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I said, man, why? We're going to talk some trash to her. Amen. Talk some trash. You want to tell my wife she's going to get pregnant? The other one. Call his name Samson. He had to show Noah that I'm the angel. Put a bullock on that altar there. Yeah. Fire came out of heaven. Woo! Consumed it in a moment. Yeah. Right before his eyes. I know I'm taking y'all time. Right before his eyes, then he believed that was God. When the angels sit at the, at the tomb, waiting on the brotherhood, because they know he was coming. Unbelief will make you come. Amen. The Bible said, John, St. John, the one that laid his head on Jesus' breast. When the women came and told him they didn't want to hear what the women said, he rose, y'all. I saw him. He rose. Women going to wake us up. God's going to move on the women first. Because men are too slow. Y'all quiet. What I'm telling y'all tonight, y'all don't want to believe nothing. Oh, you think, I'm the man. <laughs> I'm the man. That don't mean nothing. Huh? What kind of man are you? Do you stand firm in your faith? When the women went to the sepulchre, where Jesus lay, the angel was sitting there. And they said, where is the Lord? Where y'all lay? They told him, he's not here. He rose. When Jesus made himself known to Mary, he said, now go tell my brothers. Yeah. He said, your woman can't preach? Mm -hmm. She did. Mm -hmm. He carried the first message yeah. of the yeah. resurrection. Yeah. Huh? He said, your woman can't preach? Yeah. Jesus didn't go to no man in Samaria and turn them Gentiles back That's through right. prophetic utterance through the prophet Isaiah. He went to a woman. Yeah. He went to an unsaved woman, had a bunch of husbands. That's right. He didn't go to no man. He went to them and I go tell the brothers, I, 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 you come see a man. Yeah. That was a message, come see a man. Yeah. Don't let these brothers stop y'all from preaching. Yeah. Don't let these men stop y'all, because men out here saying, wait a minute, they're supposed to preach. Well, who's going to do the preaching? Yeah. Church, of, Church of Christ, amen, they don't let a woman say nothing. Yeah. I messed around, I thought it was Church of God in Christ. I went to one church in LaGrange, I wanted to get in service. And I went in that church, I didn't read the sign. You better start reading. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't read the sign. It said, and I sit in the back. Man, I sit back down. That was the quietest folks I ever seen in my life. The women sitting down. And the men were doing all the talking. They wasn't doing nothing. Wasn't having no Bible in their hand. Wasn't reading nothing. I said, this ain't no church of God. This ain't no saint by church. <laughs> and I went out there and read that sign. Church, church of Christ. It didn't say church of God in Christ. It said church of God. God help me get up out of here. <laughs> People don't know people women doing nothing. They can't say amen. They can't even say that. <laughs> 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 
It was scary, it was like a scary dog. Church of Christ! There ain't no power in it. The Lord said, Moses, oh, your Lord. When then Jesus got up out the grave and told the woman, go tell the man I rode. She went and told Peter and John they ran to the sepulcher where he laid. But the Bible said, just like he said, that napkin was folded up on his head. The Bible said he took it and folded it up and set it aside. I know I'm taking your time. It's all right. It's all right. Fold that napkin up. The women believed it. The Bible said when John went in, Peter outran him. But he was scared to go in that graveyard, that tomb. John went in. What did the Bible say, Bible readers? He saw and he believed. Read it. He said he saw and then he believed. Why did you have to see it? The believer. Why didn't, why didn't you believe it when he told you? Come on, somebody. Then the Bible said he returned and now he come through the wall. And I'm praying that because of their unbelief and said, receive ye what? The Holy Ghost. What are you talking about? I'm talking about if God moved through Moses and opened the Red Sea, if God moved through Elijah, the two greatest men in the Old Testament. Come on. Elijah was powerful. Call fire down from heaven. We ain't seen that in our time. But we fit to see it. We fit to see that plus. You said, I don't believe. Well, you ain't gonna be a part of it. You're gonna be just like the man in the Bible when the prophet said there's gonna be bread in the camp tomorrow. And one said, if there be windows in heaven, there'll be bread. He said, there'll be bread, but you won't get a bite. When the bread came in the cup. The Bible said they trampled on it because of unbelief. God, I'm talking to people that don't even read the Bible. I didn't see a little bit of something you can read. Because of their unbelief, God got angry. All that he done for them got right at the point right where we are right now. We're going to go into a war. And we got another war, this gay thing. If it's a sweep the nation. If it don't happen, ain't a God in the if it don't happen, you're going to see nothing get invested by gain. Yes. We're already in this war. Yes. Right today, right this day. They got Israel's, it's Jews and uh, Hamas right in this country fighting. Yes. Right while we sit here, there's thousands marching in America right now. Mm -hmm. That's going to cause trouble. Amen. Praise God, in Russia, they got Jews and, and Hamas fighting right now. That's going to trigger off war right in this country. Our governors and our mayors don't know what to do. But the church should have power. And if God can move through two great men, Elijah prayed and, and food came when there wasn't no food. A bus of cousins came and brought them bread and meat in the morning. And bread and meat in the evening. When the, when the, when the brook dried up, because it didn't come no more. God said, go to Zarephath. A woman will feed you down. This is where a miracle happened. That Elijah could show his power from on high. I'm getting ready to go now. He said, go get all your middle barrels together. This is what God can do for us. Get all your middle barrels. Get your oil crews and fill them up. Bring them to me. Empty. But I said, I don't believe it. You won't see it. I believe it. I believe God can do something right here to me. I ain't talking about getting no checks from the government. Amen. I don't want the checks. Let them keep them. Because they're going to come back and ask for it back. In a while. They're going to come right back and ask for them checks. You thought they were giving you something. They ain't giving you nothing. They're giving you something. Just come back and tax you with it. God's going to bless us. Yes, yes, he is. Amen. Amen. He's going to bless us all. Yes. Now you're going to run to get the blessing. <laughs> but you ain't going to get the blessing. Everybody wants the blessing. 
Right. They don't want the blessing. Right. They want to walk with him. Mm -hmm. I'm going to close, but I can't finish. But I'm telling you, yeah. things finna break loose in this country and around the world that you ain't never thought could happen. Eyes ain't seen. Ears ain't heard. I believe that shit. Amen. You don't believe because you ain't into it. I told you this morning, I had backslid and got back gone through prayer. Prayer brings you back to the relationship. I kept praying that I didn't have no more flesh. Nothing but bones was touching one another. See, God and I. That's when the Lord came down in the woods. I was going and visited me. Right in that storm. At 5 o'clock in the morning, a light came down through the woods. Through the trees. And the Lord spoke out of that light. Brother. Amen. And gave me a word. That's living with me today. I ain't back since. Come on, somebody. That word is what kept me alive. Y'all yeah. no, listen to me. That word that I got in the woods, when he came down and right there on that stump, he said, I'm going to give you my word. And he said, but I want you to get up out of this country and don't ever come back here to live a long, no long day you live. That's the second time I heard his voice. First time, he said, leave the job and don't return. I ain't Work since 64. But I ain't begging nobody for no money. I don't go to churches and beg for no offering. Y'all listen? Yes, sir. I just take whatever they give me. Yes, if they don't give me nothing, I'll take nothing. I believe God. Yes, and I know God do not lie. Yes, COVID came and cleaned my church out in many ways. A lot of folks didn't come back. They didn't come back today. But we still survive it. We're surviving. I don't care about the crowd. I'm preaching to God's people whether it's two or three or whatever. I'll be in Scottsboro. We got the next. Up there in the mountain. Praise God. To help the saints get on their feet. God's going to help us. But we got to get back on this altar and seek the Lord until we find him. How many of you believe that? I ministered you tent right where you were at. Amen. God's going to bless you. What's your name, little boy? Hmm? You ugly? How old are you? Ten years old. How old are you? Eat you? Eight? Let your sister speak for you. How old are you, boy? Too? Huh? He's got a girl for you. <laughs> <laughs> he got it. Stand up. You're, he's here. <laughs> Put your hand up, brother. Read God. In Jesus' name. Come on, to your seat. Stand at your feet. God's going to bless you. Going in, coming out. His anointing. Is going to rest upon you stronger. God's going to give you understanding of the knowledge of Christ Jesus. What's your first name? Brother Gary, I know you believe in me. Like your wife did. I know you. And I know you love the Lord. Brother Gary, in order to have what God's getting ready to do for you, there's some things you got to quit. You got to stop it. Make up your mind before you leave this place, before you leave this circle, that for God I live and for God I will die. You're going to see a woman here of old ship a half a mile ahead to stand for Jesus Christ. You got a woman that will stand with you in whatever effort God will send you. But you know a lot of people that God has given you opportunity to reach a lot of people and bring them to Christ, to his house. And I prophesy to you, you'll turn your face to God 
And you lift your hands to the heavens and ask God to fill you with his knowledge and his spirit and his grace. You will see that God will bring about a change in your life, in your spirit, and in your household that you can be amazed at what he's about to do. To let God follow those will speak out of you through the words of prophecy. I felt on another woman this morning what I feel on you. Hallelujah. The spirit of prophecy will rise upon you with healing in your swings. Oh, and you shall speak as an oracle of God. When you study the oracle of God, you're speaking, you're understanding it's not you, but it's Christ that lives in you. It's not you, but it's my words. Jesus name. Oh, I, I put the yoke off this man. Shoulder. Save your life. Hallelujah. Save your life. Father, I will. I curse you. I curse the very thought in his mind. I command you to lose this man. To let it go. You got to pray.
breaks yoke. Yeah. God didn't put on you that anointing for you to be impressed by other folks. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. They saw you. Come on. You're going to pray for this time. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I believe so. Paul oh, said when that angel came to him that night on, on that ship in that storm, this is a storm for you. Say, I believe so. I believe so. I believe so. I believe so. Hey, nothing too hard for you. Father, I got little children here, baby. I got a little boy. God, hey, Jay, smart as a whip. But God, we pray for our children. Yes. I got other little grand boys that's going through. But Satan can't attack our children. So Jesus. We're not going to allow it, God. We're not going to stand for it. I believe God. Yes. I believe God. Jesus. Everybody raise your hand this way. I believe God. I believe God. Some little children come unto me and fulfill an eye. For such is the kingdom of God. Yes. Satan! Jesus. Satan! Jesus. Ah! Jesus. Evil! Evil. Jesus. Loose this child! Loose. Loose this child! Loose. Jesus. 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 saints of the most high God I've chosen you for this work and I've set you aside for your work shall be rewarded for the time has come for all that I spoke to you 20, 30 years ago shall come to pass now your eyes shall behold the goodness and the glory of God for I kept you here both Satan has taught in many ways, but I've anointed you, and I've kept you in my word, that you may finish the course yes, yes. that I've chosen for you. Many obstacles have tangled your feet, but none have held you back. Lift up your head, O daughter of the Lord, and be not afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord yet to do the marvels and the wonders that I've promised. Test the Lord. For your body has been attacked. This is the day that the Lord Almighty yes, Jesus. shall make you whole. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You shall see those unsaved loved ones bow their heads like a bull rush. At the altars of yes, God, Lord set the Lord. Woo. Lift up your head, on your gates, neither let it be afraid. I God to make your hands straight. Set the Lord. This is the day of change. Our noble shout. The day of a new beginning. The Spirit of God. Watch what I do. The feeling and the knowledge. Next time that you preach. Feel that Open your ears. Sign that you know that I'm God. The word that God called to the ground. The old shot. Glory. to the word Amen. shall tread on the heads of Satan. Yes. The kingdom of God shall be given to the saints and the saints of God shall take it by force. God 
will move among his people. If my people which are called by my name will search for me and seek for me and turn from your wicked ways. This is the time, saith God. This is the day and the hour, saith God, that I will appoint many and I will assign many backsliders and coal, lukewarm, to return to the house of God. Even now, said God, their mind is going through a time of change. Even now, troubles is taking their feet. God is shaking the world. He's shaking the whole earth. And I can show forth my power. Even so as Moses went down to Egypt, I brought my word. I sent it to show forth my power in Pharaoh. For this is the same anointing, same God. I say unto thee, think not small about yourself, but be excited to think big in your sight. For this is the day that the Lord will do great things. This is the day of change, that the eyes of the righteous shall see the handworks of God. You shall see the brightness of your rising. For sinners shall come to your rising, said God. For eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Even as Peter walked the water, said God, the saints of God shall go into God's greatness. For the deep are calling for the deep. I'm calling for dedication. I'm calling for new excitement. I'm calling for new hope and for new anticipation. The Lord will do mighty things among even those. But the heart must change and the mind must be strong, said God. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. For this is the day of the Lord. And I, God, will bring joy and gladness to this house. Strange faces shall be in this place. And the Lord shall speak a word from heaven. And who shall hear me? Said God. Some of the greatest miracles of all times shall happen right in this house. Nobody shall touch. Just the Spirit of God will be present to heal. Said God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Why don't you get out of your seats? Can come together around the altar for just a few minutes. Asking God, ask in faith, believe. It's gonna happen for you because you believe God. It's gonna happen through your household. I got children ain't saved. I got grandboys that just will not turn their heart to God. But God's gonna cause them to turn. You believe that? God's gonna cause them to turn. And when He does, they're gonna preach words that me and you ain't preached. Because God's gonna visit them in a way He never visited. So let's pray. Father, we thank you. Everybody pray. We thank you, God, for being God in the midst. As we bow our heads tonight on this altar, God, we pray and we honor you. We magnify your name. We come in this church, God, just a few of us. Oh, Lord, oh God, we hear in faith. We lift our hands in the sanctuary of God. And we pray that every need will be supplied. You said in Philippians 4, and 19. You said, God, I will supply. Our God will supply all our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. In the 13th verse, you said we can do all things through Christ that gives us strength. Lord, as we come tonight, oh Lord, God of heaven, we got to face this week, God, and already
where the troubles is in the land. Let every pastor, every pastor in this area of God, let them preach the living word. God, we are so divided against each other. We won't stand with each other. But God, wake us up. God, as Isaiah said, arise and shine for your light has come. And the glory of God has arisen upon us. Oh God, we pray that you bring unity in the house of God like, like Paul said in Ephesians 4 and Ephesians 6 chapter. He talked about unity in the faith. We can't fight these fools of hell. We can't fight these demons that comes against us divided. You said divided will fall, but God, if we stand together and stand against Satan, you will cause us to withstand and all these evil forces that's coming against us. Oh God, I pray that God you be the strength among your people tonight. I pray that the weak will say I'm strong. And God, I pray that you said let the weak man say I'm strong and the sick man say I'm well. Turn the light from heaven on our souls tonight. Turn the light from heaven on every backslider, on every call, every lukewarm person in this mind tonight. Oh my God, let us leave this place as Abraham did, saying to Jehovah Jireh, the Lord will provide. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Provide for us, Lord. Provide. Oh God, provide. Oh Lord, give us grace. Give us your anointing. Give us your spirit. Give us your word. God, I pray in Jesus' name. Come on, children. Come on, children. Pray for strength. Come on, children. Pray. Pray. Pray, young man. The power of God. Pray the power of God fall on you. Pray the power of God fall on you. And the Spirit of God. Lord, I pray that your anointing will break every yoke. I pray in Jesus' name. God for this 
waters. I don't have a bed that goes. Shall flow rivers of life. I don't have a palace heart. Shall flow rivers of healing. I don't have a palace heart. God will be like the tree planted by the rivers. God will be like that tree planted by the rivers. Yield them fruit in this season. God will say, live. We are living upon this. God will live in upon this. God will live in upon
been ready for. Let's take you to a place. Please come in.
somebody and tell them, believe God. Jesus, Jesus. And all your life going to change. Lay oh, your hand on somebody. Lay your hand on them. The man will change. The man will change. Lay your hand on somebody. The man will change. Come on, lay your hand on somebody. The man will change in their life. Come on, lay your hand on them. The man will change. The man will change. The man will change.
always going to turn it to all the time because we're going to be with him all the time. Yeah. Believe it or not, it's coming to you. I'm going to tell you something. Jackson, Tennessee, on the front row, a young lady was pregnant. She was in her clothes, but her night was front. And she was getting ready to have a baby. And I told her what God told me to tell her. To show God people who he is. God told me to tell that young lady, you're going to have this child without a parent. I'm telling you, you're going to have this child without a plan. In Jesus' name. Praise God. What is it, a boy? I think it was. I see you rubbing your stomach. Boys are tough. And my mama told me, she called me that name. Y'all ain't got me on Facebook either. 